Hi, you're face to face with Shell. I hope everyone's doing okay out there. So I'm continuing on from last week about my experience at the orthotics clinic. So after the first appointment going quite well and being measured for my splint and my insoles, I was called back a few weeks later to get them fitted. Now, as I said, it would have been helpful at the first appointment if they had told me that I would needed to buy a slightly bigger pair of shoes so that the insoles and the splint would fit in. But they didn't. And I certainly wouldn't have taken or worn my Vans. Now, again, it's not a brand of shoes I would actually wear, but um, I was given them as a present and I found them very comfortable. And because of my walking inabilities, they are they're working out quite well for me. So I went along and I went into the room and it was the same nurse and student. And straight away, they took my shoes and started ripping out the insoles. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute, what are you doing? Yeah, well, we have to fit the, the new insoles in. I'm like, right, okay. But it would have been helpful if you had told me. I'm kind of in a, a bit of shock because everything was going like a whirlwind when I was in the appointment as they're pulling out this splint and the insoles. So they managed to get the insoles in, which were a bit tight because they're quite thick. And then they tried to fit the splint and they couldn't get both of them in. They, they managed, kind of, and there's no way I could get my foot in. And then they said, oh, what size of shoe are you? Well, the size I was the last time that I came and the size that you fitted me for. Um, I think they were getting a bit annoyed because they couldn't get the insole and the splint in my shoe. And I thought, well, you could have actually told me that I would have needed a bigger size shoe. So we decided to just put the splint in and let me have a walk about and because of the design it actually makes the your shoe sit out about that much which then obviously makes your shoe a bit tighter and so it was rubbing on my heel and I just thought this is just a disaster and it felt really weird to, to walk in which is fine because I mean anything new is going to feel a bit strange at first. So at the end of the appointment they basically just said oh well just you know go away and um, it'll be trial and error and uh, you'll have to buy new shoes. Ah yeah okay that's fine. Um I'm very lucky that I am in a position to go and buy new trainers or sneakers, but there's a lot of people out there that are not. And I'm like, just wasn't very impressed with the service. And I mean, if they couldn't get the splint and the insole in my shoe, how are they expecting me to do it? I mean, they're the professionals and I do have issues with my hands. So making it a lot harder for me to get the shoe, the, the insole and the splint in the shoe. When Chris came home, I showed him it and he actually had to take the splint away and fail it down because it was very rough. And he said, any shoe that that goes into, it's going to start, you know, rubbing on the inside of the shoe and maybe damage it. So... It wasn't the, the best of appointments. I was quite a bit down because I had myself built up, oh brilliant, I'm going to get insoles and a splint and once I get used to the splint, maybe in a, a couple of days, I'm going to be walking a lot better and that clearly hasn't been the case because now I'm going to have to try and source um, shoes or trainers that will fit the splint and the insoles. And I'm just sharing my story with you because I'm sure there's things on your burn journey or whatever journey you're on, things just don't work out the way that you thought. And you may be looking forward to a medical procedure or a, a splint for whatever. I used to get splints for my arm and my hand to keep it down because my hand used to sit up like that. So to keep it down. 
Um, so I'm used to getting fitted for these things. It's not like um, this is something really strange and new to me. I've, I've been used to numerous splints for various reasons. But this one's just not the not the best at the moment. But we will get around it. I'm determined because I want to walk a bit better. I want to walk. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Because I'm, I'm hardly walking at all just now. So I am determined. But as I said, I'm just sharing it with you. So if you're in that position just now, um, you're not alone. And there are workarounds. And although you might feel quite down at the time, just think, right, come on. How can we work around this? And how can we make things better? And then if things, if this splint doesn't work out for me, I've got another appointment in a few weeks time. I'll certainly be saying, no, it's it's not working. And is there something else that we can try? Thank you so much for watching and a massive shout out to my subscribers. And if you haven't already, it'd be great if you could subscribe. If you are doing so, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. Remember, I do have a website and I'll put a link in the description. You can head over there. You'll find lots more information, help, advice and photographs. You can also give me a like, a comment and a share. Thank you once again for watching. Stay safe, stay strong and we'll chat soon. Bye.